YouTube. What's going on, guys? It's your boy Decades. Another dual universe video. Happy New Year, guys. Today is January the 1st, and I jumped back in to dual universe. Now, just let you guys know, I play it every day. Um, I collect my ores and I try my best to remember to do the auto miners <laughs> to recalibrate, but I, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I completely forget and it'll go two or three days. I'm like, oh, crap, I forgot to do the auto miners. And I go back and they're completely uncalibrated. So what you're seeing here on the screen, I'm doing a voiceover. What you're seeing here on the screen, um, I was I collected my ore in my expensive ship. You guys only have two ships. I had collected my ore and I was on my way to, oh, I added three additional large containers on the top of the ship because it was only going to be atmospheric, right? So I was heading from one, from my station on Alioth over to Market 7 to sell it. And somehow, some way I ran out of um, rocket fuel and I didn't realize I needed rocket fuel in the atmosphere. But this <laughs> this particular ship, I guess it uses rocket fuel in the atmosphere when you're hovering. Uh, that's news to me. Anyway, I ran out of rocket fuel and I was hovering right above the water. Like I could not go any lower or I would have been in the water. I was hovering right above the water and going at 100 clicks and uh, 100 clicks towards the market. Ran out of rocket fuel and it dropped to the bottom of the ocean. Right. And it blew up completely blew up so as you guys can see here that that building there was amazing uh anyway so um i died and it threw me back over to haven and i'm like what in the crap happened because after moving my base i made sure that i activated my resurrection node in the new base so i guess i don't know what happened there maybe maybe one of the um the patches I had to go back and reset it I don't know but so I had to look luckily I had a um, hovercraft over there on Haven I took that back to the market and well the outpost where it you can actually get on to the shuttle and go to different planets right so I went back to Alioth and I had right right now is what you're saying once I got to Alioth I actually had to run to my ship now, while I was at the Market 7, I went ahead and bought some scrap. What I forgot to get was the rocket fuel. Yeah, durr. So, I'm heading to the ship now. I'm going to do a full repair on it. And then becomes the, the debacle of trying to get the ship over to the market without crashing it again um, with all the ore. Obviously, it cannot handle the ore and the ship is not configured for what I was trying to do. So that falls on me. So now what I'm going to do is add more large containers to the ship that I have that I love flying and is atmospheric only. Uh, that's probably what I should have done in the first place because it's just built for atmosphere. Um, I'm going to do that next because this obviously didn't work too well. Um, and right now, guys, as of, again, January 1st, it's... I don't really know. I haven't I never did a any type of cost analysis or anything like that to actually see how much money we are making when we're just selling the ores because the ores are so cheap. But I have seven yeah, seven properties here on Alioth. Collect all the ores, go over to sell them, and my money's going backwards, guys. When I first started this, I had what, eighteen million and Right now, I'm back down to, um, I think it's 14 or 15 million. So, I'm not making enough money to sustain what's going on, right? The market has crashed. Eventually, paying for these six territories. Well, actually, I'm paying for seven, eight territories because I'm still paying for the territory that's on um, the other planet. I forgot which planet it's on. But I just can't justify getting in this ship and flying all the way over there. To, to pick up that ore. I can't. It's just not worth enough. So um, while I don't want to give it up, it's so that that property is costing me 500000 a week and it's not generating any money. OK, so with that being said, uh, I have to, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing um, and I'll keep you guys posted as to if it's. 
costing money to sell the ores, right? To go around, con- um, to reconfigure the auto miners, put them in your ship, flower to the market, and sell it based on how much you get back. If you can, can pay, f- if you can pay for your territories, right? As of right now, my money is going backwards. I haven't bought anything. I've just been selling my ores, and my money is going backwards. <laughs> so it's not looking good guys it is not looking good i received a reply to the message i sent um to the dual universe people with a cc uh who, who makes that um nova Corp. and their message was they're they're just going to forward it to the right people thanks for the thanks for the um, input is was their reply so at this point i mean if they're not going to do anything about the economy um, I'm going to keep going until I pretty much run out of money. Um, when I run out of money, then it's just not worth me even logging back in, to be honest with you. Um, because mass uh, manufacturing the containers or the automatic miners or any of that stuff is so cheap. It's just not worth it for, for the effort you have to put in. And I think you actually make less than just selling the ores. Right? So... We'll see. But anyway, this is uh, me now, what you're looking at on the screen. I got back to my base. I jumped into my hovercraft. I'm going back to uh, my ship. And now that I learned how to actually tether, that, that makes it really convenient. Um, and I already, I already went back and bought, oh, at the base... I already had some Kurgan fuel. So I was able to take that and put it into the ship. And I think I may oh no no I don't make it. I get I get to maybe six or seven K out from the market and then I have to get out of the ship and then I have to manually move it as far as I possibly can. And then let me see. Yeah. So, oh check this out right here. I get out. And it tells me that I can't move it. And look at look at it. The freaking ship went down and just slid into the middle of the freaking ocean. It was the craziest thing. Um, I tried to put it down and it told me I moved it too far from its original location. And then the system just kind of moved it back and slid it all the way down to the middle of the ocean. Slid it like three times as far as where I was. <laughs> as far as where I was. It was crazy. Um, so I did the, the fetch. And... I moved it as far as close as I possibly could, um, and then I unloaded some of the ores. I took it. I took it over to the market, and sold it in the hovercraft. That's what you're seeing here. And then what I ended up doing was you, uh, buy more Kurgan there. I go back and I move the ship again manually as far as I can towards the market because it's still not flying right. Because I, it's my own fault again. I just overloaded that crap out of it. Um, so I move it manually within 1.8K of the market. And that's close enough that because of my talents and because of the extended range that I have, that I'm able to pull the inventory directly from the ship and just sell it at the market. And I actually didn't have to take the ship to the market. So we got that sold. And as you can see right there, I think I was at five million or six million. And after I sell everything, I'm going to be back up to, I think, nine million. Um, but the money's going quick because, again, I'm paying out one, one, two, three, like four and a half, five million a week in territories. And I'm barely even making that if I'm making it because, again, money's going backwards. So. That's it, guys. I'm going to continue to uh, pick up my ores, sell the ores, and just keep an eye out for maybe a patch or some something they have to fix for those of us like myself who just I like to play solo. I just like to mine and manufacture basic things. I really enjoy the game, but I can't make any money. And if I can't make any money, it's, the, the motivation to play the game is dissipating quickly rapidly <laughs> rapidly especially with me getting better and better and better at eve 
Um, I have no idea when Starfield's coming out. Looking forward to that. Um, and Star Citizen is going to be making a heck of a return on my channel once 3.18 comes out. I've been following it a little bit. And the salvage, you guys know, again, I'm a solo player and I love working, right? So it's the mining, the salvaging, and the trading. That salvaging is looking awesome. So now I'm looking at getting the reclaimer inside Star Citizen. So it's going to be probably two episodes of Star Citizen a week. Probably two episodes of Eve a week. I'm going to have my console between the Xbox and the PlayStation every day. So anyway, it's your boy. I'm putting in that also, guys. You guys have a phenomenal day. I'm out.